Hello, I'm Sue and this is my Thoughtful Thursday. I'd like to start by reading you an extract from Jack Frost's book, Experiencing the Father's Embrace. I have found that people experiencing Father God's embrace can enter in two different ways. One is a way of great emotional release. The other is a way of humility and faith. Through experience, I have also learned that often those who had never have an emotional encounter are those who, at times, are transformed the most by choosing to abide in Father's love one moment at a time. That is so me. That's what I've been sharing and teaching people for the last 10 years, really. So it's lovely to read it in a book and, and see it validated. I remember we hosted a conference called The Father's Heart. Tim had organised it all and a gentleman called Mark Stibby came. I'd never heard of him and he came and spoke. And um, I'll never forget that first evening he introduced me to the Father God that I had I felt I'd never been introduced to before. I'd never been able to call God Abba, Papa, until that day. And I heard... I was just introduced to a whole different revelation of God that I than I'd had. And um, I'd love to tell you that I, I fell on the floor and I had this amazing encounter, but I didn't. I didn't. What I did was I heard something that completely revolutionized my thinking. It was a truth that changed everything. And what happened as I started meditating on it and thinking of it when I was driving, when I was working, whatever I was doing, I started to realise that because I had my understanding of who God was and what he thought about me had changed, everything else had to change. What my thoughts had to come into alignment with that truth, my, my speech what I said about him, what I said about me, what I said about other people, all had to change. My thought life, my behaviours, my patterns, everything changed because of that revelation of who my dad really was and what he really thought about me. So I want to encourage you Oh my goodness, because I know the longing to have one of those encounters that you see other people have. Or is that just me? I'm like, oh, I want one of those. And yeah, and I still am open to that and would love that. But the most important thing is then how you live your life. You can have an amazing encounter on the floor and be with Jesus. But if you get up and you're not changed, then it hasn't benefited you and it hasn't benefited the world. But you know, if you hear a truth and you start changing your thought life, your speech, your actions in line with that truth, then it's going to change you. It's going to change your relationship with your God and it's going to change the way you live and it's going to affect and bless the people around you. So be encouraged, be encouraged. Delve, read books, read your word, cry out to Papa for his truth of who he is and who you are in his eyes because it will change everything. God bless.